hello and welcome to Finding Bigfoot Hunters number three. We are here out in the wild to find Bigfoots because we have gotten a lot of reports from the school. And, and as you know, eyewitness testimony is best for finding Bigfoots. Uh, I'm Kevin Shinini and this is, who are you? I'm Steve. Steve Hertz. Steve Hertz, Kevin Nish. And this is Bigfoot Hunters 15. So first, we got to go into the woods by using obnoxious cuts. All right, here we are. Right, Steve? Here right. we are. In the, the eyewitness testimony says the Bigfoot was right here. The eyewitness testimony is the best form of evidence. Right, Steve? That's correct. Good. Now, of course, when finding Bigfoot, you got to camp out in the woods. Look out. Let's see here. Nice little school here has been terrified right, so with many reports of a Bigfoot. Could just be a bear, but why would they lie to get on TV, am I right? Why would they lie? They wouldn't do that. Yeah, they wouldn't do that, right, Steve? Right. Now we gotta make sure. We gotta make sure. We you gotta find the Bigfoot in the woods. About 20 reports from one class alone. One day we got like 20 reports an uh, hour and we have tons of evidence that we aren't going to show you because you, you can look it up for yourselves, you idiots. <laughs> now, if you don't believe in Bigfoot, that's like saying you don't believe that, that, that Jesus was hung. Wasn't Jesus hung, right, Steve? Uh, that's outside of my uh, scope of expertise. Well, it's not religious. We're talking historical. I don't know anything about history. Me either. That's why we're hunting Bigfoot. <laughs> now, let us go hunt a Bigfoot. <laughs> Using a... Uh, and we got... Oh, uh, is that a squatch? It was a squatch! <laughs> uh, we see couldn't see catch up with a squatch. Did you see a squatch? Yes, I heard a squatch. Could have been just a normal thing, though. Uh, um, there's a lot of reports here because school has the biggest eyewitness testimony. Uh, here's some branches, evidence that Squatch oh. was here. What would a Squatch do with a pile of branches like that? You think it's like a bed? Uh, uh, well, Squatch, Sasquatch is naturally a herbivore, which oh. means it eats leaves. Now, now granted, how did it... And it, beef jerky. Uh, not really, no. I saw that would be. TV. It would eat beef jerky if it could, but it can't. Oh. All right, so we got a bunch of paths here. Look at all them paths. That's we funny. got one to a house. Oh, Look at all these. Now, that one has a good... Wait a sec, is that a forest over there? Let's see a squat. See a squat! Dang it. Couldn't get the video footage in time. Totally saw a squat, though. Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, what, what is that? Like, look at that. Little, little tunnel. Ain't that right, Steve? Looks like a Squatch may have put some scat right here. Uh, I wouldn't say scat. I would say uh, teenagers came down and bop, tried to hit Bigfoot with a bomb. Mm, I thought maybe it was a steaming pile of, of scat that melted the plastic. Well, Sasquatch doesn't have that type of shit. Oh. Okay. We gotta make sure he doesn't have that he doesn't eat lava otherwise he wouldn't have his stool oh, and by oh. stool i mean poop get and feces stool and stool. yeah i get okay. now we must find a bigfoot all right that what's that curvature the, area could have been bigfoot but i have the doubt what's the first sign we gotta look for the first sign is Maybe any log lodged up into a tree oh, i think a teenager might have done that Let's look for some evidence of fur or claw marks. Yeah, claw marks. Uh, let's see. Uh, claw mark, claw mark, claw mark. He went... He, so, it's clear he was coming from the park over he, there. Over into that space. Right, Uncle... That's right. Uh, okay, Steve. You get it. Now, you see, there's some leaves here indicating he might have eaten. Now, of course... Yeah, that area is definitely where he went. So, maybe he's camping out tonight. So we should obviously go in the most dangerous route possible. Right, Steve? That's right. Yeah. 
and then camp there. Now, follow me into this holy, unholy beast of a woods. Got thorny branches first. Kind of good. Just get rid of that log. It's a whole tree. I can't move that. Oh, right. <laughs> it's lodged in there. It's, it's, you could say it's lodged. It's lodged. lodged. All right. So look here. Got a good chunk of branches. Definitely looks like a path a Bigfoot could have taken. Definitely dead branches, trees. Could have been Bigfoot. Could have been something else, though. I highly like doubt it. Uh, no, chupacabras. Those are not good. Could have been yetis? just. Eh, yetis don't live here. Oh. They live in the polar bear area. Oh. And it has been spotted, though, by thousands, though, drowning in the lake. Though we aren't going to give a single report with those thousands of millions. No, that's evidence of it's a teenager. Mario Evidence of a lazy worker. Oh. Of a Sweet lazy fucking bitch. Sweet golden Oreos. Oh, no. Sweet golden Oreos. No, don't eat those. They could be infected with robbers. Ray boys. Ray boys. Oh my god. This is a squash over there. Squat! Here we are in the squash woods. Oh, oh god. This branch might be. I got, thank you, Steve. You're welcome. All right, now we dock, and this is just where we started. Sasquatch, he's gone. We couldn't get footage of him. We'll get him next time, boys. Yeah, maybe he moved off to another grove. Yeah, we'll or maybe he just went into the park area. Let's continue. And on. then we can get some eyewitness testimony. Come in an annoyingly large cut. That is so annoying, you won't even know. Now, nah. here we are. We almost made it to the park, but we have some newfound evidence of squatch. Squatches are naturally vegan, so they must have smashed this pumpkin to eat its insides. Pretty, still pretty fresh. Still pretty fresh. That means it's eaten. And he must have been here like yesterday, which we have thousands of eyewitness testimony, and we won't interview one of them. Not a single one. Because, because who the fuck needs eyewitness testimony, okay? Right, Steve? That's correct. No one needs an eyewitness testimony. Oh, look at this. Weirdly formed rocks. Weirdly formed. It's like uh, a Mid-America Stonehenge. Yes. Hmm. I think the, uh, the national Russian hero, Cold Man, dropped his pen here. It's heavy. I can't move it. It's heavy. It. Only Sasquatch could move it. <laughs> that or Lushwinigi. Harlita. Now, let us go look for... Oh, wait. What's that over there? Uh, we had reports of a missing child. And this might have been the missing child's gun. Oh. Well, I... Uh, it belongs to Cooper. Cooper's gun. Cooper didn't make it. Cooper down. Cooper. Cooper down. Wilbur. Steve, please. Cooper didn't make it. He didn't. <laughs> All right, now you gotta cry. Now you gotta cry. Now you gotta look. Come on, tears are coming. Uh, no, Cooper. Huh. Ah, that's good. That's good enough. Good enough. Good, good, guy. Great, good. Anyways, whoa, oh, oh. seemed like there was a pipe system here wrecked by a Sasquatch. Mm, might have, he might have done this. Might have been a female. Very deep. Yes. Might have been a female. Piece of shit she took in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we don't, we, we're gonna have to find some... Uh, Bigger evidence because there's a lot of non believers who are uh, <laughs> disgusting idiots. Uh, here's another opening. We will find eyewitness testimony here in this opening in the most dangerous section. 
Oh my god. You see, I've heard a lot of things about Sasquatch and Bigfoot. And one of the things I'm scared about is that they can read the minds. Oh. Telepathy? Telepathy, yes. Dang. Yes, that was from uh, finding some sort of Bigfoot show. There's like two factions in the Bigfoot group. There's one that wants to study him, and the other wants to kill him. We're, we're in the faction that thinks, thinks that we should cook him and eat him. Delicious? Yes. I've heard many things about Bigfoot having delicious bones. Hey, here's a bunch of moss. There's a little trail here. Could have been water there. Could have definitely attracted a Bigfoot. Year-round, we get reports around here, this general area. So, it's important to... Get this stuff documented. It's a very steep mountain, so we're gonna have to go on the lower edge. Just be safe. Oh, that's a piece of shit. Look at this. It got, it got what steep. Do we got? Look at this. A piece of shit. Oh, it's, it's squash scat? Yeah, but it's definitely hardened. Yeah, it's not fresh. Three years at minimum. Taste it. You can't really pick it, no. so you can't taste it. Oh, here's a fresh piece of shit. This is what fresh satchel shit is. It's very hard and stern. What's it it's taste? fresh. Like? Yeah, it's fresh. It tastes like shit. Yeah, it tastes like shit. Exactly. It's a piece of shit if it tastes like shit. Definitely Sasquatch. Could have been Sasquatch shit. Could have been Sasquatch <laughs> taking the shit and then wiping his ass with it. <laughs> the piece of wood. Who knows? Who knows? Let's, uh, don't mock me, Steve. Sorry. I, I, I'm holding you hostage. Sorry, Professor. Your family's Dave. being held hostage. Look, we got to oh, go here and look for some Bigfoot. Oh, my God. Is that Bigfoot over there? No way. It's family. Bigfoot. Big feet look like uh, that. That's what big feet look like. Uh, So, definitely a lot of eyewitnesses' testimony. That guy, testimony. Definitely can confirm uh, to us that he saw a Bigfoot in our show. Finding Bigfoot. Looks like some kind of ritual marking. Yes, yeah, some ritual marking. This is where the original Bigfoot report started. That's the, that's the first sight? Yes, and now... There's no peak or like, drop off in activity, even in the cold. Fresh scat. Fresh scat. That's from a rabbit or deer. Oh. Get, learn, know your shit. <laughs> okay, we gotta look for fresh sash, squash shit. Scratch cat. Scratch shit. Sasquatch took a shit in the woods. All right. And nobody was around to see. Would it make a smell? Yeah. Now look. Here we are. Back here, and the woods. Oh my God! Is that Bigfoot? Is that Bigfoot? It's big, it's Bigfoot was here. Look at that, Steve. You looking at this? Yes, yeah, so only a lot Sasquish. Yeah, and this, this might have been a toilet with uh, things in it. Oh yeah, like a bear. Dead animal. Interesting. Yeah, well, let's look for more eyewitness testimony. Wait a second. I think we got more pumpkin. Alright, so, there's more pumpkin. Look at this, more pumpkin. Oh, Squatch. Definitely a little older, but still fresh. Definitely Sasquatch. In for good stuff. Let's see, another ri satanic ritual to summon Sasquatch. It, these never work though. Or do they? We don't have any eyewitness testimony for this, so we. You're right, we're flying blind. Yeah. So, uh, let's see here. Wait a sec. Barbed wire around here. You think Bigfoot set us up? A trap? Huh, maybe. But the. Or maybe it's just normal fencing. Hey, is it just me? Or that barbed wire 
somehow ceased to exist over there. It looks this, like there's an opening. Yeah, like Sasquatch took it out. He ripped it out? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Definitely seems like Sasquatch could be here. I'm going to have to find more info, though. It is right next to a bunch of street. And most of these things were at a park. Okay. So we're going to have to go towards the lake bit of the park. Because that park had a lot of eyewitness testimony. We'll cut back to you now. Alright, so we couldn't get to the lake yet. But look at this. A little trail. Looks like a Bigfoot could have made it. You think it could have been made by Bigfoot, Steve? Steve, you think Bigfoot could make this? Looks like some kind of foundation. Yeah. Early 17th century, maybe? Yes. That might have been torn down by a Sasquatch. Squatch. Yeah. And and also we don't have any evidence that exists, but we do. You, so all you non-believers out there are eating Sasquatch shit. <laughs> uh, let's go. We'll talk to you back when we get to the lake. So here we are at the lake. So you see, it's got a curved edge. A lot of eyewitness. Maybe we'll even find one of our people down there. Maybe we will. We'll be right back with you after this ad break. To the lake, beautiful lake. And we even found one of our eyewitness testimony, right, Steve? Right. Mush <laughs> Wingy. How's it going? Look good, good. Now, can you confirm to us that you saw a Bigfoot? Ah, yes, the Bigfoot. We saw it. It was uh, a very, very big and large ran. Right across, right behind me. Uh-huh. And it took 15 children. And then they all came back. Traumatized. You don't mean... Yes. Bigfoot's going to jail when we find him. So thank you for the eyewitness testimony. You're welcome. So, thank you for that. Uh, we'll be make sure that... We'll give you your anti-cold hand message. Yes, that is my message. Okay. Now, Steve? Yes, sir. Will you help us look around a bit more for this uh, Sasquatch Bigfoot? What do you call him? Squatch. Yeah, Squash. We're going to put that on a t-shirt and sell it to the public. <laughs> Yes. There, there might have been Bigfoot. Bigfoot might have been down there. Bigfoot's a swimmer. Though it is pretty shallow water. And there's like nothing in the water. No disturbance whatsoever. Bigfoot could have been there. It totally wasn't us. Feel sorry for us. I lose you in again, you believe me? Yeah, no. <laughs> How dare you say that? Look, you just paid me to say that. Screw you, let's read the gear. Goodbye. No, 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 wait. Ah. You missed. <laughs> so, we didn't find any good sustained proof. Though we did find tons of eyewitness testimonies that we will not show. Be but we did get thousands of eyewitness testimony, right? That's right, but nobody was willing to sign the liability press release waiver, so we can't release it to the public. Yes, that is the truth. Aside from Lushwinigi, we didn't pay him to say anything. We didn't pay him anything. Yeah, he lies. He likes to joke around like that. That's Lushwinigi for you. Uh, I, I know Sasquatch exists because the other day, he just came right at me after I took a picture of him that we will not be able to release to the public. He tore out my tooth. Right there. See that? We couldn't find him to get him to sign the liability press waiver either. Yeah. So we can't release the footage. Yeah. Or the camera. Or the camera. Because he stole the camera. Oh, not another one. Yeah. Uh, this has happened twice this year. He punched me in the face. <laughs> yeah. Bigfoot hates me. <laughs> Probably because we're Bigfoot hunters. 
maybe we can get this damaged phone to our uh, uh, doctor, the phone doctor. Though I'm not sure. I heard he's being attacked by the cheerleaders. Cheerleaders, though. Not cheerleaders. Readers? <laughs> yeah. And they support the book people. Oh. Dr. Piss pissed them off. Now they're out for blood. That's what happens when you piss off the wrong people, okay? Like Sasquatch. Piss him off, you're dead in two days. So that is our episode of Finding Sasquatch. Wait, wait, I see. I see him. We'll be right back. Okay, so we found Bigfoot, right? Right. We found Bigfoot. We couldn't catch up with him, but he made a path through here. So we're gonna. This is enormous and moves at great speed. Yes, <laughs> and he has the stealth of um, not, no one. He's uh, he's outclassed everyone in stealth. <sighs> Look at Look at all this evidence. This, like, normally, this is not a bike trail. He made no. this place. Wait, satanic ritual. Oh, oh. God, number nine. Oh, all right, he came this way. Come on, Steve. I'm we on, on. we gotta make it. I'm we will trip. make it. Huh? Ah. Ah. All right, we will make it. Ah, oh, dang, we lost sight of him. He disappeared in the thick underbrush. Yes, he's sneaky. Now we must return home empty handed, except we don't have a home, we have a van because we're nomads. We usually park it down by the river. Yes, we live in a van down by the river. <laughs> okay? Don't want to end up like us. So if you want to hunt Bigfoot, be wise about it. That is all for this episode of Bigfoot Hunters. Uh, hopefully, you will go to our, our Bigfoot organization. Big, big feet, he fuck you, and hopefully uh, you can find a sexual predator with us. See you next time, boy. Right, Steve? But we gotta end on a ending joke. So usually you want to end on a high note. So what's our high note? Our ending joke, Steve. Joke? Yeah, ending joke. We gotta end on a high note. Oh. Like always. Don't look here for a joke. Joke between your legs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get both of us in the picture. See you next time. See you guys. See ya. <laughs>